So you need to be eating 2000 calories a day to lose weight or to feel full or maybe in general just trying to eat healthier. And you're looking for a meal plan that not only does it keep you full for a long time but helps you lose weight or just look great overall. Well, in this video, I got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three meals and two snacks so you guys can eat in a day that equals to 2,000 calories that, that not only keeps you full for a very long time, it makes you feel great and you're packed with a lot of energy, man. The foods that I'm gonna show you guys, the meals that I'm, that I'm gonna show you guys in this meal plan is absolutely delicious, easy to make, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty addicting. And the most important part, in my opinion at least, it gives you a lot of energy, good energy. Now, in this 2000 calorie meal plan, it's structured in a way so you guys can avoid binge eating, which is the number one enemy to weight loss. And in order to do that, our meal plan needs to be high on high healthy fats. High healthy fats not only promotes and stabilize good hormones, which by the way, it's really important for weight loss and keeping healthy, but it also helps in keeping you full for a very long time. Healthy fats, well, any type of fats really, but healthy fats in particular, takes a long time for your body to digest and to break down so that's very important when it comes down to feeling full and to lose weight the second important element that we're going to be focusing on in this calorie meal plan is fiber as you guys know fiber keeps you feeling full and that's very important for a weight loss and obviously fulfillment meal plan and last but not least we're going to be focusing on high protein meats in general takes a long time for your body to break down and to digest so that's going to help you feeling full for a long time and make sure you're not binge eating so that's the structure of this 2000 calorie diet plan and if you guys want a custom one by the way you guys can dm me on my fiber page all right enough chit chatting let's get into the video all i ask to return is a like and subscribe if you haven't already let's go so the first meal that we're going to be having is going to be a fulfiller absolutely delicious and keeps you full for a very long time it's going to be a spinach omelet absolutely delicious is to make and fulfilling check it out so first we're going to crack not one not two but three whole eggs in a jar which has 219 calories 18 grams of protein three grams of carbs and 15 grams of healthy fats then we're going to add one whole bell pepper or 160 grams of bell peppers and this has 48 calories two grams of protein 10 grams of carbs and four grams of fiber sheesh that's that's a good amount of fiber then we're going to add half a tomato or 60 grams of tomato which has 12 calories one gram of protein two grams of carbs and one gram of fiber and the last thing that we're going to put in here is 50 grams of spinach and this has 28 calories 3 grams of protein 4 grams of carbs and 2 grams of fiber go ahead mix it up make sure the whole thing gets nice and mixed obviously don't forget to season once it's nice and mixed we're going to get a pan and put one tablespoon of olive oil in there and this has 121 and a half calories and 13 and a half grams of fats olive oil man such a good oil so healthy good for hormones and helps you to lose weight we're going to go ahead and pour the batter in there and before it actually starts to cook we're going to sprinkle 35 grams of mozzarella cheese in there and this has 98 calories 10 grams of protein one gram of carb and six grams of fats put a lid on it let it cook let the cheese melt nicely and at the end it should look something like this absolutely delicious the smell you get from this man it's very appetizing the total calories of this spinach omelet is 526 and a half and the total macros you get here is 34 grams of protein 20 grams of carbs 34 and a half grams of healthy fats and 7 grams of fiber man you should be full for at least three hours this thing keeps you full for quite a long time after three or even maybe four hours have passed you should be getting hungry again and we're going to be going to our first snack and this is a green banana smoothie and man this is so addicting it's just so good if you haven't tried it man you have to try it so first we're going to get a blender and put 250 millimeters of skim milk in there and this has 88 calories 9 grams of protein and 13 grams of carbs put a half a banana in there which has 52 calories 1 gram of protein 13 grams of carbs and 2 grams of fiber pour 120 grams of non-fat greek yogurt in there which has 64 calories 12 grams of protein and 4 grams of carbs add 30 grams of baby spinach in there and this has 8 calories 1 gram of protein 1 gram of carb and 1 gram of fiber i mean just look at the whole blender more than half of it is literally spinach and it's only 8 calories i mean that's the power of spinach it's a very good vegetable it keeps you full for a very long time and it cleans your whole intestines and all that kind of stuff so it's a really really good vegetable and it tastes great in smoothies think who would have known and the last thing that we're going to put in there is one tablespoon of peanut butter and this has 100 calories four grams of protein three grams of carbs eight grams of healthy fats yeah this is healthy fats 
and one gram of fiber good to go you're done put the lid on and blend it make sure the spinach is nice and blended once it's nice and blended we're gonna go ahead and pour it look how green that looks man i mean you may think that it may taste like spinach no man this thing has become i'm addicted i eat i drink this every day man well every other day but it's absolutely addicting it's really addicting. And just to let you know, this is two servings, not one. So it's two glasses, which will be 500 millimeters. And it's about, this whole thing is about 312 calories, which is just nuts. And the macros you get here is 26 grams of protein, 34 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat, and 4 grams of fiber. You're full for about 2 to 3 hours, man. It's extremely filling. It keeps you full for a long time. And you feel, you feel powerful after this. I don't know what it is. I think it's the spinach. But you feel extremely powerful. If you guys hit the gym... You guys will probably go to the gym if you guys drink this. You guys will probably feel like a king lifting weights or a queen. So this is a really good shake. I recommend you guys to try it. Moving on to the second meal, and it's one of my personal favorites. It's a brown rice stirred fried shrimp. Easy to make, delicious, and this is how you make it. Get a pan and pour one tablespoon of olive oil again. And we're going to add 120 grams of shrimp. Man, shrimp is so underrated when it comes down to like a weight loss protein. Because man, look at the macros. 120 grams of shrimp. Is 116 calories and 29 grams of protein. That's it. There's no fat. There's no carb. It's ridiculous. It's literally pure protein. That's what shrimp is. But make sure you cook the shrimp thorough. Make sure it's well done. But once it's nice and cooked and nice, we're going to put 80 grams of bell peppers in there. And this has 24 calories, 1 gram of protein, 5 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of fiber. And we're also going to be adding 50 grams of of onions which has 20 calories five grams of carbs and one gram of fiber you want to go ahead sear it up let it get caramelized a little bit let them get fried once it's nice and fried we're going to pour 100 grams of cooked brown rice in there and this has 104 calories three grams of protein 23 grams of carbs one gram of fat and three grams of fiber mix it well make sure all the flavors get interwined everything gets nice and mixed at the end it should look something like this absolutely delicious the smell it's just so good. You guys can go ahead and throw some hot sauce on there. Whatever sauce you guys want, it hits the spot. It really does. The total calories you get here is 385 and a half. And the total macros you get here is 33 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, 14 and a half grams of fats, and 6 grams of fiber. And you're full for 3 hours, man. I'm not surprised if it goes to 4 hours, but 3 hours is, is minimum. It's absolutely a filler. After three to four hours have passed, we're gonna move on to our third meal, and it's gonna be a classic. Well, not a classic, but a delicious and fulfilling chicken salad. First, we're gonna get 100 grams of chicken breast, which has 160 calories, 31 grams of protein, and four grams of fat. Marinate it with whatever you guys want, man. Lemon, season it, put some hot sauce on it, put some chili powder on it, whatever you guys like, however you guys like to have your chicken marinated. But whatever you guys do, make sure you pour one tablespoon of olive oil on top of that, because we are gonna oven bake this or air fry it all depends on what you have so we're gonna go ahead and marinate that make sure everything all the juices and spices and seasonings and sauces they all get nice and mixed with the chicken breast and we're gonna put it to bake for 10 to 12 minutes in the meantime we're gonna get our salad ready so we're gonna get a bowl you probably want to get a big bowl for this because it's a pretty big salad i'm gonna start off by putting 40 grams of lettuce or crunchy water in other words and this has eight calories one gram of protein one gram of carb and one gram of fiber then we're gonna put the next crunchy water Water, which is cucumbers we're gonna put 100 grams of that and this has 25 calories one gram of protein four grams of carbs and two grams of fiber we're also going to be adding 120 grams of tomato which has 24 calories one gram of protein five grams of carbs and two grams of fiber and the last vegetable that we're going to put onto this salad are mini trees or broccoli 100 grams of it and this has 40 calories three grams of protein seven grams of carbs and three grams of fiber if you guys don't like broccoli you guys don't have to put it or if you guys want to substitute of a broccoli cauliflower or just increase the other vegetables but i highly do recommend broccoli it does wonders for your body so once all the vegetables are in we're not done just yet we're going to be adding 25 grams of mozzarella cheese in there and this has 72 calories 8 grams of protein 1 gram of carb and 4 grams of fat and we're also going to be adding 20 grams of almonds in there and this has 5 grams of protein 5 grams of carbs 5 grams of healthy fats and 2 grams of fiber total of 85 calories almonds man are nuts and as you guys know man nuts are very healthy for you and voila guys that's how the salad looks like it looks absolutely appetizing you guys can add some salad dressings onto that if you guys like but don't put too much because the calories rank up really quickly the total calories of this chicken salad is 535 and a half the total macros here is 49 grams of protein like sheesh 49 grams of protein that's crazy 23 grams of carbs 26 six and a half grams of fats 
and 10 grams of fiber, which is absolutely crazy. You're full for at least three hours, at least. This could make you full up to four hours and probably even beyond that because man 10 grams of fiber high protein high fats that's like the definition of weight loss and feeling full this meal right here yeah this one is a banger now after having the chicken salad it's probably around like nine o'clock ten o'clock maybe two hours before you guys go to bed or so let me ask you guys this question wouldn't it be nice to have some sort of a nice dessert you know because you've been eating so healthy throughout the day don't you think you deserve a little bit of a dessert? I'm here to tell you that you can. The last thing we're gonna eat, and this is the second snack of the day, is going to be 100 grams of vanilla ice cream. Now, before you guys go like, oh my God, that's so unhealthy. I'm gonna gain all that weight back. No, that's not how it works. Just because you guys wanna go on a weight loss diet or to feel full, it doesn't mean you have to get rid of all the bad foods. It only means to minimize it to the point where you're in control of your own diet. So then when you guys feel like eating something at the end of the day, it won't hurt like this 100 grams of vanilla ice cream no you're not gonna gain a thousand pounds tomorrow just because you had a vanilla ice cream i know you're not gonna feel bad look it's okay to have one snack or one meal out of the whole five meals you eat in a day to be something you really like chocolate candy ice cream whatever unless however you're trying to go compete and look your best your best on stage that's a whole different story, but we're not here to do that. We just want to live life, be healthy, and enjoy it. And that's exactly what this meal plan does. Now, this last snack, the 100 grams of vanilla ice cream, has about 211 calories, 4 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. But again, it's completely okay. It's your dessert, so enjoy it. And voila, guys, that's it. You guys finished your whole 2,000 calorie meal plan. But was it actually 2,000 calories? Well, the total calories you consumed in this meal was... 1970 and a half so literally you're short just shy of 30 calories i mean you guys can increase the almonds or increase the mozzarella cheese on some of the meals maybe increase the shrimp whatever it doesn't always have to be exact but what's more important here are the total macros check it out 146 grams of protein 134 grams of carbs 94 and a half grams of fats 80 percent of that was healthy fats actually maybe 90 percent of that was healthy fats and 27 grams of fiber man that's crazy 27 grams of fiber in this 2000 calorie meal plan it's a this is a solid 2000 calorie meal plan not only are these meals easy to make but they're a filler and they will help you lose weight so if you guys need to be eating 2000 calories a day to lose weight to feel full or even trying to make your eating habits a lot better i highly recommend you guys try this 2000 calorie meal plan it's a banger but if you guys want more of a custom calorie meal plan i have a fiber page you guys can go ahead and dm me there and we can work on something we can get you that custom calorie meal plan to your likings so go ahead dm me there don't be shy i'll be waiting for you there now if you guys need to be eating 1500 calories a day to lose weight to feel full and to look good well check out the seven day 1500 calorie meal plan you'll find a lot of good meal ideas there and obviously you'll enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next video peace